It's six minutes after eight o'clock and a very good morning. My name's Jim Thorne and today is Friday. And you know what that means. That means it's time for That's What's Happening's Blues and Arts Hour. It's a program where we feature some of Mississippi's finest singers, songwriters, musicians, and artists. And the program's made possible each week by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Thanks also to Rooster's Restaurant in Fondren. Well, some of you may know of the music from our featured artist this morning. He's been playing uh, uh, his music in and around the area, especially over in the uh, Reservoir area, some venues over there. He's really a fine guitarist along with an outstanding uh, singer and songwriter. The first album that he's done is called Who We Are, just released a couple of months ago, and it's a pleasure to welcome to the studios uh, Jay Wadsworth. Jay, good morning. All right. Thank you for having me. Well, it's good to be with you. How's the coffee this morning? It's good. Good. I'm glad you had it. I was not coming if we didn't have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to hold the hostage, that's, that's uh, right. coffee hostage. Hey, listen, uh, I love your music. Uh, really a, a combination of various styles. Any, I mean, we're talking country, blues, little rock in there. Mm -hmm. Any way you can categorize that or do you do that? No, uh, that's definitely uh, accurate. It's a reflection of kind of everything I've absorbed, you know, trying to become a better guitar player, listening to great songwriters over the years, and, and just, you know, that's my interpretation of everything that I've tried to absorb and become as a guitar player and a songwriter. So. Well, I've heard a lot of, I hear a lot of the influences in there, which yeah. we're going to talk about later on in the program, but you're from, originally from Jackson, right? Yeah, grew up in South Jackson, went to Wingfield High School. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, you've been playing music for a good while, right? I have. I started playing guitar about... 10 or 11 years old mm -hmm. and probably wrote my first song when I was 13. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been writing songs for a long time and, uh, you know, he said, yeah, never, never really put it down. I'm self-taught. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've kind of learned a lot of stuff the hard way. I kind of looking back, I wish I would have probably taken some mentored under somebody, you know, well, well you kind of you kind of do that anyway, though. If you're you know you're playing with various guitarists and and, and band members, you you really are kind of gleaning from them. I would assume you are. You do. Uh, one of the things though that's that I've always kind of thought about as I've gotten older, though, is like you know why didn't I study guitar? You know, I didn't I didn't really when I it was time to go to college. I I didn't really know you could really do that. Mm -hmm. You know. It's, I just thought I had to go get a business degree. You know, I, yeah. if I could go back and rewind them, I, I might go study guitar, you know, at, at age <laughs> yeah. of 17 or 18. Mm -hmm. But but anyway, I've, I've been studying it for 35 years, yeah. 40 years, yeah. and it's it's all worked out. Who We Are, that's the name of the album. A uh, little background on this, Jay. Uh, that is the uh, title of the album, and it's also the title of, the, of a, the, I think, the first song on the album. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a reflection of uh, relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's kind of, it's not real personable, uh, personal, but I did think about, you know, me and my wife when I, when I was writing that song and it just kind of came out. It wasn't a purpose. A lot of my songs aren't, aren't written for purpose. They're, you know, it starts with a guitar chord and a great sound and it evokes a feeling and an emotion and it turns into a lyric and then all of a sudden it just turns into a song. Yeah. So, but I, I go where it leads and that, that kind of turned out to be a song about a relationship. So. Well, let's listen to a song. This is a right. track from Who We Are, and the name of the song is High on the Bayou, Jay Wadsworth. Call up 
they just got paid. Let the good time grow in what it stays. Forget about the bills and the rent that's due. We got plenty of shrimp and coffee. Jay Wadsworth, our featured artist this morning, wow. and uh, high on the bay. What a great sound that is, Jay. Yeah, that's thanks. Awesome, and that's you on guitar too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I did all the guitar work on that. How can people get the album? Uh, iTunes, uh, Amazon Music, mm -hmm. Spotify. If you stream music, pretty much any streaming platform, it should be available on. Uh, and anywhere you purchase music, you know, like like I said, I, the the main the main sites, Apple, Amazon, iTunes, you know, so. All right. Well, you catch me at a gig, too. I might have some CDs available. So, And you're coming up uh, yeah. playing in the near future. Tell yes, us where. Yes, uh, uh, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, uh, I'll be at Catherine's uh, Steakhouse in Ridgeland mm -hmm. on Old Canton Road. It's a great place for live music. I've been playing there a long time. Got to have some regular gigs every month there. And uh, so it'll be the Roundup Band, which would be most of the guys that recorded on this uh, this CD, that you, the song that you just heard. So there's some great musicians uh, helped me put that song that that song together. So it's awesome. All right, we're going to talk more about that and hear more from our very special guest Jay Wadsworth on the Blues and Arts Hour. I'm Jim Thorne. The program is made possible each week by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Thanks to the Roosters Restaurant in Fondren. Our time now is 15 minutes after eight o'clock. All right, it's 19 after 8. Good morning. Jim Thorne here on the Blues and Arts Hour, 103.9 WYAB. Our very special guest, Jay Wadsworth, and his brand new album, Who We Are. And uh, I would advise you to check that out. We're going to hear some more music from that. But, Jay, we were talking before we went on the air, uh, and you've been writing songs for a long time. How did you get into that? I mean, you were young at the time when you started. But how did that start? You know, I... I really don't know how it started, but, you know, when I first learned a couple of guitar chords and started trying to learn a song or two here or there, uh, I think, it, it, you know, I had feelings that were that were like being, uh, I guess, amped up by the, the other chords and the sound of the guitar. And mm -hmm. then, you know, feelings turned into a lyrical line. And, uh, you know, songs that I wrote probably when I was a teenager, very simple and probably sound stupid now, but... Um, do you, you still have those? I probably do, yeah. yeah. I, th I pretty much have a copy, a handwritten copy of every song I've ever written. And, and as I've progressed through, the, you know, I obviously have typed and printed, you know, mm. archived copies of all my songs, copyright everything. But, um, yeah, I've got tons of I'd love to go back sometime and look at the ones I wrote when I was mm -hmm. a teenager. I'd have to dig them out. But, you know, some who knows, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, some of the best songs are what we would consider maybe simple musically and that sort of thing. Yeah. But so, yeah, right, I would right. encourage you to right. go back and check. But, you know, a lot of those songs that, uh, you know, the um, creative years back in the teen days are, are sometimes outlets for what's going on. It, it, was that the way it was for you? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, for sure. And and sometimes, you know, I, I knew I kind of discovered early on that writing songs, there's there's a couple of ways you can go. A song can be very personal to you and it can mm -hmm. be, you know, a very personal song or it can be 
a fun song or it can be a, a song that's not about love or anything. And a lot of times the best songs are not the ones that are real personal because if they're too personal, people kind of back off of mm -hmm. them. They're like, oh, that's, a, that's his, that's a story about him. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they want to hear something fun and uh, or, or hear a story about something like, you know, I've got a song that I've been playing wrote about 10 years ago called Fate of Liquor Thief. It's not on this album, but I'll probably be on the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, it tells a great story about, you know, guy sneaking in your house and drinking up all your your liquor while you're not looking you know mm -hmm. and uh it's songs like that that are kind of fun they tell a cool story they're they're fun to play mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. behind them you know might be spooky or scary or country yeah. or blues and you know songs can some you don't have to be a one kind of songwriter in other words yeah. you, can, you know i like to try to write songs i like like to try to write blues songs i like to write country songs i like rock and roll songs you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. The, the album uh, "Who We Are" recorded in Hummingbird Studios. Great sound. A little background on that, yeah. Jay. The studios are in Vicksburg, and it's owned by um, a guy named Kimball Slayton, who's a great bass player himself and a great studio engineer. Uh, Buzz Pickens was was the guy I worked with to get the recordings done. But Kimball Studio is fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody looking for a place to record, I, I would look into it. It's it's very accommodating. It's very comfortable, and it's state of the art. They mm -hmm. they really have it set up. Uh, it's it's a great location too because you know when you say it's in Vicksburg, it, it's on the east side of Vicksburg. You don't even have to go into Vicksburg. You yeah. kind of get off there at uh, Highway 61, I think it is. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. You know, it's right there. So it's, it's I thought it'd be a I thought it might be an issue traveling over there to try to record this when I started it, but. And I got over there so quick, and it just, you know, it, it was not a big deal, so. Let's do a song. Uh, Love is a Band, and a little uh, background on this one, Jay. Um, this this song is a feeling song, you know, but it uh, it kind of takes a twist in it. You know, it goes from from uh, a story about, you know, a re relationship into a story about what it's like to play in a band. Okay. And uh, so, you know, if you listen to the lyrics, you'll kind of catch on to that. But it, you know, I, th I think it's kind of cool. It's one of, one of the songs I'm proud of. I really like this song. All right. Well, let's enjoy it. This is Jay Wadsworth. Love is a band.
Jay Wadsworth from the album Who We Are and Another The Band. Jay, that's uh, again, you got a great song. You got a, I want you to give a shout out to some of these musicians, outstanding yeah. artists. The uh, the guys that played on this uh, CD with me are also in a in one of the bands that I play in. It's my band. It's called the Roundup Band. That's mm -hmm. who I'll be with Tuesday night at Catherine. So, but uh, yeah, the great group of guys uh, on bass. I had Mike Thorne. Um, no relation to me. Uh, no, <laughs> we've not, talked about. Not that, that we know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, on uh, drums, we had James Jenkins. Uh, also, Ed Wood played drums on, on some of these cuts, so I'm not sure. Ed Wood may have been the drummer on that one. Okay. Um, and Tyler Kemp on keyboards. Uh, Tyler's a fabulous uh, piano player. He's a staff piano player at Mississippi College. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, you know, he's a... He's a, the real deal, career music piano guy, and Mike Thorne is too. I mean, yeah. and uh, all the guys are really good. But that, those are the guys that recorded with me, and I did all the guitar work uh, and vocals. But, yeah, and it's outstanding guitar work too. Who we are, the name of the album, and how can people get a copy? Uh, you can go to iTunes or Amazon Music, Google Play. Uh, if you like to stream music, you should be able to find it on pretty much any streaming site. Uh, Spotify, all the big ones, you know, you, you'll be able to find. Look, look under Jay Wadsworth, mm -hmm. and uh, you should find the album. Who uh -huh. we are. And how can people contact you if if they want you, your band? And I understand you do some solo work too, don't you? I do. Yeah, yeah. I'll do solo gigs, duo gigs. Mm -hmm. uh, prefer prefer band stuff, but solo solo gigs are fun too. You know, mm -hmm. just uh, I'm pretty busy with band uh, gigs, uh, but yeah, I'll do solo stuff. And you could, you know, find me on Facebook. Um, you know, uh, send me a message through Facebook or, or that you can email me here, Jim at WYAB.com and I can put you in touch with Jay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Jay Wadsworth, our very special guest on the blues and arts hour. My name is Jim Thorne and you're listening to 1039 WYAB. And of course the program is made possible each week by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Thanks also to Rooster's Restaurant in Fondren. We're going to come back after our CBS News report. Our time now is 8.30. It's 25 minutes until 9 and a good morning. I'm Jim Thorne. You're listening to the Blues and Arts Hour. We do this every Friday. We feature some of Mississippi's finest singers, songwriters, musicians, and artists. And the program is made possible each week by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Thanks also to Rooster's Restaurant in Fonder. Our very special guest in studio is Jay Wadsworth. He has a new album out, Who We Are. And, of course, uh, uh, a lot of folks uh, have heard the music of Jay. He's been around the area a good bit recently in the last few years. Jay, uh, you're going to be uh, at Catherine's Steakhouse on Tuesday, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else coming up that uh, you want to uh, mention? Thir yeah, Thursday night I'll be uh, playing with m more than one band. But uh, Thursday night I'll be playing with a different band at Shuckers. Okay, uh, and a band called the Roadhogs. So, my main band for you know for original music is Roundup Band, mm -hmm. and we're playing at Catherine's Tuesday. But I'll be at Shuckers Thursday, and then I have a private event Saturday with the Roundup Band. So yeah, well, very good. And you know, uh, talk about the Jackson music scene. It's it's rich, isn't it? It it is. There's a lot of a uh, lot of good musicians and bands out there, and and seems like lately there's a lot of young guys coming out that are that are doing original music and are real excited and are, and are really outstanding musicians too on top of it. So I think it's got a great future around here. There's plenty of, plenty of venues to play, mm -hmm. uh, especially, out, you know, over the years, it, the, the reservoir area has just really turned into a, a great, you know, you can hit four or five live music clubs within a, like a three mile area right there. Yeah. You know, Rid Ridgeland, uh, North, the reservoir area. Um, you know, and I I used to think how and and it still is Hallam Miles Martin's has some great music, but you know, and I used to play the, those places too back in the day. But I've gotten so busy playing up at the reservoir, it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, this is great. You so know, you're staying pretty busy, right there, close to where I live. You yeah, know, I mean, yeah. I I can be at any, most of the places I play, I can be there within five minutes because I live in the reservoir area. But but it, there is a lot of live music venues up mm -hmm. around the reservoir and. Uh -huh. And it's so it's thriving. We take it for opinion. granted sometimes too, don't we, Jay? We do because you know there's the flip side of that. You kind of get tired of playing the same places all the time. You see the same people, but but that's a good thing. You know, it you have to look at it in the positive. It's a good thing to have places close to the house where you can go earn earn a little money and put your music out there, mm -hmm. put your art out there. 
Very good. Sure. Jay Wadsworth, uh, let's uh, hear a, tu- a tune from your album, Who We Are, and it's uh, She's Got to Be Free. You want to set this one up for us? Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a little song just about, you know, a, a, obviously about, about a girl, mm-hmm. you know, and it could be your girl or my girl or somebody's daughter. But anyway, it's, it's, it tells a good little story, but uh, I think every woman feels like she's got to be free at some point, and that's what this song's about. All right. Jay Wadsworth. album who we are and uh, jay you hear that song and and as we talked at the beginning of the program there's so many influences there it's it's just kind of all coming together right there you know yeah yeah um you know you might hear a little mandolin in there uh too I played the mandolin on it but yeah you know one of the bands that early on when i was younger uh heard the desert rose band uh out brother lived in california i got to go out there and spend a summer with him when i was like 14, 15 years old, but mm-hmm. took me to a county fair and I, the Desert Rose Band was playing. I had no idea how great these guys were, but uh, when I saw them, you know, they, they had all that. They had steel guitar, mandolin, and some of the greatest players, you know, Chris Hillman, Herb Peterson, uh, John Jorgensen, mm-hmm. uh, J.D. Manis on steel. Uh, but anyway, those... I didn't even like country music then mm-hmm. and I, as a teenager, but when I heard those guys, I was like, oh my God, mm-hmm. how can... This is... 
I just thought that was it, man. That was the great, greatest stuff I'd ever seen. And they, and so anyway, some of that music over the years has definitely bled into you know to what I want, liked the sound that I that I like to get. So. Uh, what I like about your uh, album, all originals, and I think that's so cool. And you said you've got an arsenal of many more originals on the way, I, right? I do. It's a you know it comes down to a matter of time and money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> you. Nobody's nobody's knocking on your door, going, "Man, you, your songs are so great. Uh, why don't you come to my studio and let me pay for everything?" And then you know, yeah. no, it, you know, you you've got to have some money yeah. together to you got to pay guys to come record with you. You got to you got to pay the studio. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and and you gotta have the time to do sure, it. Right. So yeah, uh, I've got lots more. I plan on plan on recording lots more. You know, I've, uh, hopefully I live long enough to record everything I want to do. But I hope uh, so. Jay Wadsworth, our very special guest. I'm Jim Thorne. You're listening to the Blues and Arts Hour here on 103.9 WYAB. Gonna take a break and come back for our final segment. Some more music in conversation with Jay. The program, the Blues and Arts Hour, is made possible each week by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Thanks to the Roosters Restaurant in Fondren. 16 minutes until 9. Don't go away. All right, it's 11 minutes until 9. I'm Jim Thorne. You're listening to 103.9 WYAB and the Blues and Arts Hour, our very special guest in studio, Jay Wadsworth. And uh, Jay Wadsworth's new album, actually out just a couple months, is called Who We Are, All Original Tunes. I recommend it highly. Uh, Jay, I know uh, you, like so many other really good musical artist you have to work a, a daytime job and uh, how do you balance the the two your musical career and, and your uh, your daytime job well you don't have to work a daytime job you could be poor you know <laughs> and maybe maybe live with your sister or something mm -hmm. but now i I've, I've always had a career job but i pursued music as hard as i could with available time and um Luckily, you know, I've been able to balance it. it. It's a it's a tug of war sometimes, you know, a mental tug of war more yeah. than anything, because, you know, most of the time your gigs you're playing after eight to five hours. But mm -hmm. mentally, it's it, it's a it's a tug of war at times, you know, because you you start wondering, well, could I do would I do better in my day job if I just drop music or would I do better in music if I just drop the day job, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so there, there's a definitely a and you know that question remains unanswered. Yeah, <laughs> because both have to exist. Yeah, you know you have to, the, the day job is not a not an option for me personally. You know I've got a family and stuff. Sure. And uh, and dropping music's not an option either because I would probably be depressed and be a miserable person <laughs> if I didn't have this outlet. So anyway, uh, did you come from a musical family? Did yeah, my uh, my dad was a trumpet player. Uh, mother played piano pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and they exposed me to, you know, as a real young to guys like Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings. Oh, man. You know, so uh, brother, brother uh, lives in New Orleans, plays piano and accordion. He's mm -hmm. he's he's great. Uh, another brother plays guitar. Uh, and I think that's it. I had some sisters, but they didn't they didn't really take any, up any musical instrument. But so, yes. Had some good influences. Yeah, there were some guitars sitting around the house when I was growing up. There was a piano, always a piano in the house. So, the album is "Who We Are," and, and uh, let's hear another tune. This kind of town. Talk about this one, Jay. Yeah, this 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 song. Uh, I really like this song. It's uh, it's it evokes a feeling for me. You know, it's like a, a feeling. That, I think everybody's reflected maybe at some point in their life about, man, how did I end up here? You know, mm. and it might be good or bad. And this one's, uh, you know, you can kind of form your own opinion about what it is good or bad but it's like how do i end up here man what's going on <laughs> all right this is jay wadsworth
That's Jay Wadsworth and This Kind of Town from the album Who We Are. And uh, Jay, how can people get the album once again? Okay, you can uh, find it on iTunes, Amazon Music, uh, anywhere you stream music, Spotify, Mm -hmm. uh, or any other streaming platform that you like to use. It should be available. So I'd appreciate you. If you take a listen, if you're interested, look for Jay Wadsworth. and uh, The album is called Who We Are. And where are you going to be performing? Uh, This coming Tuesday, I'll be at Catherine Steakhouse in uh, Ridgeland. It's a great place for live music. Live music, I think, seven nights a week. I mean, mm-hmm. one of the only mm-hmm. places in town that does that. Yeah. And uh, but I, I do a Tuesday night. You know, we do a six to nine thirty, so you don't have to stay out late. You know, it's a great place. Good food, uh, good drinks, and good music. You know, uh, a lot of people. A lot, there are a lot of different uh, definitions for success, and it seems like your definition for success might be just the love of what you do. It is, you know. Uh, when I'm able to, when I can go out on a gig and play an original song and and get a response, uh, people listen and you get a response. Man, that that does it for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm definitely not in it for the money, <laughs> because you know there's more money to be made playing gigs mm-hmm. than there are trying to sell your, your your original music. You know, unless unless you're in the songwriter loop in Nashville or something. You know, you get a bunch of songs out there. Maybe one out of you know fifty might make you a little money, but. Uh, but yeah, for me, you know, it's it's art. I, I want to, you know, I want to create a song, want to put it together good, and I and I want to put it out there for people to listen to, and uh, and I get a lot of satisfaction out of out of playing an original song on a gig, you know. Do a lot of great cover songs, you know. I like I like all the same great great classic songs that everybody else likes, you know. So I like to do those songs too, mm-hmm. you know. Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, Merle Haggard, yeah. 
I do a lot of cover songs, so you know, in a in a night, you're not just going to get beat over the head with a bunch of original music that you you may, may or may not like. So if you come see me, you know, you're going to get a variety of music, but there's going to be some originals in there too. Jay Wadsworth, I recommend you check him out, check out the music, check out his uh, concerts when he's around, and uh, that seems to be fairly regular. So Jay, keep up the good work. It's so good to have you in, brother. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Jay Wadsworth on the Blues and Arts Hour. The program's made possible each week by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Thanks to the Rooster's Restaurant in Fondry. I'm Jim Thorne. Until next week, God bless. Sister say they want